kind of like a brother and a mentor to me. Brady Curran, come on up, brother. Love you, buddy. I love you, dude. Crush. What's going on? Hey. Yeah! I'm pumped to be up here. Now, I'm going to start this off with a little story about why this event is more special to me than any of the 20 plus events that I'm going to speak at this year. Now, Justin mentioned it a little bit, but when I met Justin just under a year ago at the Dream Mastermind in Miami, it was an event that I was speaking at in New York City. And Justin was already a kick-ass entrepreneur, had a very successful property renovations business. But in our program, we give away something called the Five Wishes Worksheet. We give this to our six and seven figure clients and it's meant to bring about clarity of purpose. And on this worksheet, Justin found out that he had a desire to be bringing like-minded individuals together in a setting like this. And in that instant, Social X events was born from one worksheet. You guys are sitting in front of us today. Now on top of that, where is the clicker? Sorry guys. Now on top of that, five of the amazing entrepreneurs that you are going to hear speak on stage today are members of what is called the Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood, an ecosystem of young male entrepreneurs that we have created. So. For those reasons, this event is extremely special to me. So I'm going to need a favor from you guys. I'm going to need three things. I'm going to need you to be very attentive. I'm going to need you to be very engaged. And I'm going to need you to be very fucking loud. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Now, let's get started with what we're going to talk about today. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the number one skill to get wealthy in 2019, which virtually nobody knows about the engine that is driving the world's most wealthy and successful people. This is the same skill that the members of the Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood have used to create six and seven figure incomes for themselves. This is the same skill that I've used to get into the best shape of my life. And it's the same skill that I use to create a seven figure net worth by the age of 25. Now, let's talk about some statistics. 27% of people are financially free. Only 3% of people are considered to be wealthy. 80% of people hate their job. Who's ever been in a job that they hated? Yeah, look at that. 40% of people have student loan debt and 65% of individuals over the age of 65 have less than $25,000 in retirement. You guys, it is time for an all out assault. You have to go all in on your life and on your business. Because you see most individuals, most individuals are playing the waiting game. They're waiting until next week to start eating healthy. They're waiting to hire that marketer until they feel comfortable, even though they know there's going to be a positive ROI. You have to take complete ownership, radical ownership and complete control of your life and business. And if you guys do not do this, if you do not go out on a full out attack, you guys are going to be completely screwed. That's it. Now, I am up here to tell you guys the truth. Before any video I put out, before any speech that I give, I put a warning up and I say viewer discretion is advised because guys, I am not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm not here to tell you that it is okay to make promises to yourself and not keep those. I'm not here to tell you that it is not okay to hit your goals. That stuff is for the weak, it's for the timid, and none of you guys are here for that. You guys are here because you are not okay with settling for the status quo. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. That's right. You guys are here to grow your lives and grow your businesses. Say yes if that's what you want. Yes. Boom. So, I'm going to tell you a little story about who I am and why I'm up here. <clears throat> so, I've never shared this on stage before. On October 16th, October 15th, 2016, 
I woke up with a taste of tequila in my mouth. I had self-inflicted cuts up and down my wrist and I had no money in my bank account. Now to give you guys some context, just three months before this, I was a year sober. I had $100,000 cash in the bank from becoming one of the most successful young real estate agents in the Midwest. I was li literally and figuratively fucked. The foundation that I had built the castle on came crumbling down and what was I left with? I had no idea who I was. I had no money and the girl of my dreams was walking out the door. Guys, this was brutal. This was a brutal day. One of the most humbling experiences that I've ever had. And in that time, because up until then, what everybody saw was this young entrepreneur on a fast track for success. But what nobody knew is that it was all a lie. On the inside, I was struggling to figure out who I was. I couldn't stay sober. This day left me faced with one of the most difficult questions that many young entrepreneurs face. And that is who am I and why do I feel so alone? Who here has ever felt isolated by entrepreneurship? Right, man. At Wake Up Wealthy, we say an entrepreneur alone is an entrepreneur at risk. This is a very, very important question. And I was left with this. And so, you know, at this point, my life, for the second time, I was broke, addicted, and confused for the second time in my life. And at, at this point, I only had one mentor left who would speak to me. His name was Sean. And I called Sean up, and I told him what had happened. And I had him meet me at a local Starbucks. Sean and I were there. We were trying to bring me back from the nightmare that I had been living. And while I was there, one word kept coming to mind. And this word was acceptance. It's one of the most powerful words in language. And I was totally annoyed by this word. It was a word that I knew all too well due to my failed attempts at Alcoholics Anonymous, my failed attempts at sobriety. But I knew that this word was important. And see, guys, at this point, I was faced with a very, very important decision. It was give up on life, which I knew I was incapable of doing, or I had to go all in. I had to burn the fucking ships. This was the only way for me to make it out. Now, what I didn't know is where my life would be three years later. I want you guys to look up here. You saw those pictures of me before. Totally overweight, drunk, looking like a loser on the right. This is the amazing life that I have now. This right here is my five-month-old son, Cruz. Dude fucking rocks. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. This is, this is my wife and I. My wife is, she didn't go out the door. She stayed with me because I decided to go all in because I committed to what I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. This over here on the far right, this is me running a half marathon through the Las Vegas mountains just three weeks ago before I had a speaking engagement. And I was able to do all this with the one skill that I'm going to teach you today. And that skill, so here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to imagine yourselves three years from now. Take a minute, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and picture yourself three years from now. What do you look like? How much money are you making? What kind of relationships do you have? Who's with you? Think about that, guys, because so much can happen in three years' time. My entire world got flipped upside down. And in three years, I was able to create the most amazing results. You guys have that opportunity. That is why you are here, to learn what is necessary to create the life of your dreams. Now, open your eyes up. Because three years from now, I hope that you have avoided what I like to call the three dilemmas. Now, the first dilemma 
is overwhelm. Who here has ever felt overwhelmed in their life and business? Hell yeah. Me too. Right now, overwhelm in the state of entrepreneurship is chasing shiny objects. Great examples of chasing shiny objects right now for a young entrepreneur. Starting a podcast and building a personal brand when you have no real business. You guys, followers do not always translate to money. This is a shiny object. Today we are going to talk about mastery. Overthinking, dilemma number two. Who here feels that they overthink things? Yeah, hell yeah you do. I do, right? This is something that we all go through, being a slave to our minds. This was me in my past every day. That picture is how I felt. I was afraid of success, I was afraid of failure, and I was afraid to be alone with my own thoughts. Overcommitment, dilemma number three. This is huge. How many times have you guys met someone at an event like this, a networking event or you know, any type of business event, and you say, well, what do you do? Oh, I've got a social media business, I do some wholesaling, and I'm getting into Airbnb, also have a podcast, right? Everybody's always got all these things that they do, right? Who's ever encountered someone like that? Maybe that's you, and that's okay, right? But the thing is, the thing is, you have got to get focused. And I hope that you have learned in three years from now, the number one skill to get wealthy and avoided what we call the three dilemmas. And I, that number one skill is self mastery. Because you guys, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say. Money stems from mastery. That's right. Money stems from mastery. And nobody else is talking about self mastery because guess what? You remember that picture of the carrot dangling in front of people and them just running off the cliff? Talking about self-mastery, talking about discipline, is not an attractive carrot to dangle in front of you, but it is the truth. That is what I am here for, to tell you the actual stack of skills that it takes to be successful. Because guys, you don't look at Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg, LeBron James, all of the highest achievers in the world, they became masters of their craft. LeBron James wasn't also trying to play football. Right? He played fucking basketball. That's it. You focus. Follow one course until successful. And if you do that, and you obtain mastery level, then you earn the right to move on. You earn the right to expand. You earn the right to get out there and do the other things that you want to do. Explore. But until then, you need to get your head right, you need to get your life right, and you need to get your money right through your business. Who here wants to achieve that? Wants to get money right in their business? Perfect. That's why you guys are here. If you didn't raise your hand, I'm a little confused. <laughs> so today, there's a lot of ways to double your business, guys, but today we're going to talk about four ways that you can double the amount of money that you make by next month. Make some noise if you want to do that. Yeah. You remember when I said I'm going to need you to be very fucking loud? I wasn't joking. Like, I like noise. Woo! Yes. So, the things that we're going to talk about today. Your motherboard, monitoring, math, and metrics. Let's talk about the motherboard. Okay? This is what I like to call subconscious reprogramming to create lasting change in your life and in your business. You have to change the way you think, change your beliefs at a subconscious level. You may say, yeah, that sounds great, but how do you do this? The way that you do this is you talk to yourself more than you listen to yourself. And we're gonna get into why this is super important here in a minute, but you have to change things at a subconscious level. You have to rewire the way that things are going on. That is the first thing that you have to do. You have to see where you are going in order to believe it. Because the future that you fuel up top will become a fact. So if you're not, if you're still, if you still have that stuff in the back of your head, right, that you can't do it, that you're not going to make it, that's the future you're fueling. But you need the thoughts that aren't in your conscious mind, the subconscious mind, you need those to be all in. The ships need to be fucking burned. 
The next thing, you need to monitor your input. You guys, this is like simple systems theory. Input, process, output, feedback. But what most individuals are doing is they're saying, hey, I want a different output, but they're not paying attention to the entire circle. You wanna look better? Focus on what you're putting into your body. You wanna feel better mentally, spiritually? Focus on the types of things that are going into your mind, the environment that you're around. You want different results out of your business? You need to put in different input. But what most individuals are doing is they're saying, hey, I want a different output, but they're putting the same input into their business, into their body, into their mindset, into their spirituality. And that right there, guys, is the definition of success. By definition, doing the same thing and expecting different results, definition of success. Now, the third thing that you're gonna wanna do is to focus on the math. So let's take this example, right? Who, here in, who in here is a coach or a consultant? Anyone? Excellent, okay. So let's say you wanna make a quarter million dollars at your consulting business this year and you have a $3,500 pro product. You need to do roughly 71 deals, I think. 71 deals at $3,500 to create a $250,000 income. That means you need to have just over one deal a, way, a week at a 10% growth rate. Do you see how specific that is? If you wanna do this stuff, guys, you gotta know your numbers. You need to know exactly how much input you need to put into the business to get the output that you want. Because if you don't, you're just firing aimlessly, eyes closed, just shooting, right? That does not work. You need to be laser focused, knowing exactly what you need to hit, the targets that you need to hit in order to be successful. And the last thing that you wanna do, you want to focus on the metrics. Now, this here is a screenshot of a worksheet that we give to our high paying clients. It's called the Mastery Metrics Worksheet. And what you do is you track your non-negotiables on a daily basis. Because guys, I'm gonna talk about this in a minute, but our brains are very, very good at justifying what we're doing. I can't tell you how many times someone comes into work with us and they say, hey, Brody, I'm totally beat. I'm working 12, 13 hour days. And I'm like, dude, okay, let's break it down. Like, we do, they're working about six, maybe seven, right? But their brains tell them that they're being busy, that they're being efficient, that they're doing what they need to do, but instead they're fucking off, wasting time. But our brains, we don't know that. And the only way to get very, very clear with what you are doing is to have it down, to track, to gather data so that you can focus on the system. So I have an example up here of wake up at 4 a.m., meditate, run, do 100 sales calls, right? Every single day you check these boxes. When you check these boxes, you gain momentum. And then at the end of the month, you have a very, very clear picture of what you actually got done. And now you know where you were going to lack. And because I love Mr. Justin Caballero so much, and I love Social X events so much, we're gonna give this away to every single person who at the end of this speech takes out their phone and DMs me their email, okay? You can find me on Instagram, B-R-O-D-I-E-K-E-R-N, at Brody Kern. DM me your email, we will send you this mastery metric sheet. Ask any person in here in Wake Up Wealthy how important this sheet is for performance. It's imperative. Now, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the lies that we all tell ourselves. The lies that are affecting our bottom line. Because you see guys, we tell ourselves every single day that we already know the outcome of a situation before we make it happen. You see, who here has read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? Excellent. So, Napoleon Hill developed what he called the principle of accurate thinking. Whenever he was interviewing all the successful individuals that he did for his book, he found that they had one character trait in common. And he defined this as accurate thinking. And I'm paraphrasing here, but he said that they do not give in to the BS and false assumptions that we all tell ourselves. Because guess what, guys? It is you versus you. Your brain is not your friend. Your brain is constantly trying to tell you that you can't run that mile. You can't lose that 15 pounds. You can't make the money that you want to make. Your brain is trying to tell you that you are not enough. 
Who here has ever felt that? That they are not enough? You guys, I am here to tell you that that is fucking bullshit. You have to beat your brain in submission on a daily basis. Literally, every day my brain comes in and tells me some bullshit, and I have to be like, no, dude, fuck you, right? I control the situation. I talk to myself more than I listen to myself, and because of that, I can create the results that I want in my life. Now, I'm just about out of time here, and I need to wrap it up. So, we're having, everyone's having breakout sessions for this event. I'm calling mine a breakthrough session that might, I don't know if it's still gonna be at 10.30, we'll let you know, but I'm calling it a breakthrough session because we're gonna be in the other room doing live coaching on the five paradigm shifts that you need to create immediate results in your life. So if you guys have something, some resistance that you're feeling, something that is just holding you back from that next level of success, be in there, because I'm gonna break you through that shit, I'm gonna get you real uncomfortable today and we're gonna create results. Now. It is time for you guys to get super fucking loud because this weekend is about to kick ass. Today is about to kick ass. Let's go. Everyone, up, up, up. Yes. You need this one? Yeah, I'm gonna announce for them to remember to DM you. Got it. How was that? Great, bro. Good job. Awesome. I will still do 10 minutes. Cool.